Hi, this is Mr. Evans. This video uh, is going to go over the current ratio, which is the liquidity ratio you need to be aware of. So, yeah, covering the second bullet point here uh, in this list of ratios you need to know. So, um, the first thing you need to know is what liquidity is. So, liquidity is a measure of the ability of a firm to meet its short-term debt. If you've ever heard of a firm going into liquidation, uh, what that basically means is the, the firm has been unable to uh, meet its debts and its assets are being sold off, turned into cash, so the business can um, the business has stopped trading, it can't meet its debts, so their assets are, are sold off um, and the uh, organisation's uh, creditors, the people who have lent the money, are given as much uh, of their money as possible. So liquidity is the uh, ability of a firm to pay off those debts over the, uh, particularly over the coming 12 months. That's what we mean by short term. Um, and uh, the definition that you can have of the current ratio, the ability of a firm to meet its short term debts by comparing current assets to current liabilities. How do we do that? Quite simple, we divide the current assets by the current liabilities. Really important that you know these formulas and you know how to interpret them, what it tells you. So here's an extract from a balance sheet. Uh, these figures are in millions. And uh, if you know your balance sheet, you will know that these three items here, inventories, receivables, and cash, they are our uh, current assets. Okay, These are the things that the business is gonna convert into cash in the next 12 months. And they're listed in reverse order of liquidity. What do I mean by that? Well, the first thing on here is inventories. Inventories is the uh, word for stock, and um, uh, this could include raw materials, work in progress, finished goods. The amount of stock an organization has um, sitting around waiting to be sold. Um, now, uh, that is the least liquid asset, because li liquid means how, how easy can we turn this into cash and pay off our debts. Well, um, you know, it's all very well saying, okay, we've got 20 million pounds worth of stock uh, in this business, but, um, you know, we, you valued it at 20 million, but in reality, are you gonna sell that at all? Are you gonna be able to sell it at the price that you want to sell it for? If you're having to uh, do, uh, you know, bulk uh, sales, are you gonna have to give some sort of discount? So, you know, how accurate is this figure of 20 million? Well, it might not be that accurate when you take into account uh, some of the things that you might need to do to sell that stock. You know, will it go off? Will it become outdated? Um, so uh, stock can be quite uh, difficult to accurately um, assess the value of. Secondly, we've got receivables. So receivables are the money that's owed to a business by its debtors, so people who have already bought stuff but on credit. So we, this is a more liquid asset, right? We've, we've sold this. This person said, yeah, I'm buying it. I'm going to pay you this much, and we've got a receipt um, from that person. We're just waiting for the money to come in. So um, it's a bit more certain we're going to get this money because we've already sold them the stuff. However, of course, it, the money, we don't have it right now, and there is always a chance that it won't come in. So slightly less liquid. The most liquid asset, of course, is cash, um, which we could use immediately to pay off our debts if we needed to. Um, we add those up to get our total current assets. Um, uh, in this case, 40 million, and you can see the total current liabilities. Money owed in the next 12 months is 35 million. The bracket simply signifies that that money is going to be leaving the company. That's what the bracket means. This money is uh, is is to be taken away. It's going. So, um, current assets divided by current liabilities. You can see quite easily the formula. Uh, what's going to happen uh, to calculate our current ratio well, we'll do 40 divided by 35 and that gives us 1.14 now it's important with the current ratio to, to realize this is a ratio this isn't a percentage or uh, you know or anything else it's it's a um, it's a ratio 1.14 to 1 or what does that actually mean well if you look at the formula this to 1 is the current liabilities it's telling us for every one pound worth of uh, debt that we're gonna to have to pay off in the next few years. Uh, we have current assets 
um, worth one point uh, one pound fourteen. So we've got one pound fourteen to cover every pound's worth of debt. Okay, so we've got a figure. How do we interpret that? Well, 1.5 to 1 is considered the ideal amount. Sorry, that should, that's not very clear. Uh, that should be 1.5 uh, to 1, excuse me, um, is considered the ideal amount. This means that a firm has £1.50 for every pound's worth of debt. So, in other words, the business should be easily able to uh, survive the next year because for every pound they've got uh, that they owe, they should have one pound fifty coming into the business. Okay, but um, so if one if one point five to one is considered good, surely two to one, you know, two pounds for every pound worth of debt, or two point five to one, um, would be even better. But actually. Anything over 1.5 indicates that a business has cash that's sat around, that's not doing anything particularly useful, it's just sitting there. You don't really need more than £1.50 uh, to pay off every pound worth of debt. And if you've got more than that hanging about, it's an indication that, that you've got cash that's sitting around that could be better used elsewhere. In other words, you could reinvest it into fixed assets like buying... Um, buying uh, new machinery, new uh, vehicles, improving the product, advertising, that might be more beneficial for the business than to have it sat around in a uh, bank account. Alternatively, we could distribute it to shareholders, keep our shareholders happy, make the business more attractive to new shareholders, um, rather than just having it sit around in the bank doing nothing. So 1.5 to 1 is our ideal. Anything lower than 1.5 to 1, we may, have, we may struggle to pay off our debts. Anything higher than 1.5 to 1, there's going to be question marks about, about uh, whether we're being overly cautious and keeping that much money in the business. So, how do we improve the current ratio? Well, if it's too low, 0 0.75 to 1, uh, 1 to 1, um, we can increase uh, the amount of cash. Uh, we could try and increase the amount of cash that we've got by selling shares, for example, uh, selling off. Um, maybe fixed assets that we're not using as well as we could or doing a sale and lease back system where we sell a factory and lease it back that should free up some cash or we could borrow money um, we could also uh, reduce the amount of stuff we're buying on credit so we're not accumulating more debt and obviously uh, the quicker we pay down those current liabilities the more we pay off those current liabilities the um, more our uh, figure will improve on the other hand, if we've got too much um, in the way of current liabilities, we could invest in fixed assets. We've already spoken about that. Um, we could sell off our reserves of stock. Okay, why have you know tons and tons of stock hanging around um, uh, that's doing nothing that might go off that we might not be able to sell? Let's get maybe a just-in-time system uh, where we're, we're far more efficient at managing our stock levels. Or we could. Um, uh, pay off our uh, long-term loans, use the cash to pay off our long-term loans, which will help improve the uh, gearing of the company. Okay, so that's the current ratio.